Well, hello there, ladies and gents. How the very devil are you? I've just had a care package from the homeland. A package of electrifying excitement, potentially with heartwarming consequences. And this care package has come from British heated clothing manufacturer, Kais. Oh, there is a whole jumble of goodies in here. But most importantly, Kais have accepted me to be one of the finalists and one of their inspiring riders of 21 and 22. So thanks so much for having me on board, guys. Really looking forward to getting started. So I got here in my handy Kais shopping bag. Catalogue, a couple more stickers, a oh, wind chill calculator that could come in handy, and a handwritten note. Andy, it's no joke that you can ride through winter warm and comfy. <laughs> Good dad joke, guys. Keep showing us your adventures. Hashtag Kais inspiring riders. Yeah, really, really excited about this. So what have we got? First up is a big box, and this is a heated waistcoat. Very nice. That feels lovely quality. If you remember a long time ago, I made my own heated waistcoat out of a heated seat cover and a fleece waistcoat. Sadly, that one has bitten the bullet, so timing for this, absolutely perfect. Next up is a long box. Could this be heated leg warmers, perhaps? I don't think so. My winter dancing days are behind me. Look at that. The Kais G701 Shorty Heated Gloves. And... Aha! Uh -huh. This is the first time I've had heated gloves, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what all the fuss is about with this heated glove nonsense. They look really nice. Thin chelate lined, high pora membrane, knuckle protection, scaphoid protection, short cuff to go underneath my jacket cuffs. Yeah, really looking forward to getting these out in the cold. And then there's a few more goodies in here. There's a cable for connecting up the heated gloves to the heated waistcoat so they only have to have one power supply. Bluetooth power controller for the heated waistcoat so I can control it from the button on the front or from the app using my phone. Very futuristic. And then finally, to finish off the whole package, this is a very exciting addition. And this little box is a Kais heated apparel battery pack so that I can connect everything that I've got up to this battery and be completely wireless. Really, really excited to see how well this stuff works. This is a 5200 milliamp battery, should give me a good couple of hours on one of the medium to low settings, I think. And plus, if you shake it, it, shows you how much battery there is in there. How much of a nice feature is that? And you can charge your phone off of it as well. Absolutely brilliant. So what would the point of all of this be if we didn't have a quick test? So I actually recommend you get as snug a fit as you comfortably can. So I went a size down on what I normally would have done. Potentially feels like maybe I could have gone a size smaller, but there are stretch panels in the side here so you can get a nice snug fit. So that's not too bad. We've got storage pocket on the front, storage pockets down the side. And in this little pocket here is the connections so that I can take my Bluetooth power controller, plug it straight into the waistcoat. And apparently if you left this little loop cable connected into the jacket, it would just go to full power when you connect it to the bike or to a battery. But now I can have control through the app or through this little button here. And then tucked underneath here is another pocket that hides the power lead. So we take that out, plug in our battery, and then hopefully, yep, saw some blinking on there. When I push the button and hold it down, there we go. Red light is on, we're on high power. Oh yeah, I can feel that warming up already. Oh, it feels like a warm shower only dry. Sounds so wrong. So then with the push of this button here, I can go down to medium level to low level, hold it down to turn it off. Oh, that's awesome. I can finally have a warm cuddle on the bike without having to buy somebody else a piece of cake at the coffee stop. I don't really want to be having this battery flapping around while I'm on the bike, but luckily, I have put a pocket on the inside of the jacket, which has actually got two in there. There's a smaller battery you can get and a bigger battery, and there's a pocket for each size of the battery. Gives it a perfect fit, Velcro secured. <laughs> nice and tidy. And then the next exciting bit is using these cables here. There's two cables, one for each side, and that connects into a socket, which is in the armpit, one on the left side, one on the right side, and then that connects into the glove itself. And obviously you'd run that down the arm of your jacket on the inside. It's for those who might have been struggling with that logistical challenge. Same on the left, plug in the glove. Look at that, that's a nice touch. The visor wiper is actually a prism, so you can read Kais through it as you turn it round. A nice little touch. I like details like that. And we should now have power on the gloves. Even though the jacket is turned off, this controller is only dealing with the waistcoat itself. It's not doing anything for the gloves. So if we push the button on the back here, red light, we're on full power. We're on the right hand side, red light, also on full power. Push it again, we can go to medium. 
again, go to low. So full independent control of all three different parts of this, all being powered by the battery in my pocket right now. Let's go for some full power action, shall we? Yes, I can feel the power coursing through my veins. Yeah, they're warming up nicely. And then at the same time, you can hold that button down, smash on the waistcoat as well. Now we are fully heated. This is possibly the most exciting day of my life. Don't tell my wife I said that. Right then, with me fully heated up, I think it's probably best to go out into the horrible cold weather, try this all out on the bike. Right then, so here we are at the bike. All I've got on underneath here is my Nox base layer. Then the waistcoat, there's the thermal liner in the Oxford Mondial jacket, and we're good to go. I've already got the cables connected to the waistcoat, poked out the sleeves of my jacket. Left glove on, plug in the cable, Tuck all of that into the cuff of the jacket. Oh, the cuffs on the Mondial are a bit too snug it seems, but oh, yeah, it does just go. Same on the other side. Plug in the right cable, tuck everything in, zip up the cuff, and now hopefully, give it a long press. There we go. Power on the right, power on the left. Let's start with Kawasaki Green, low power to begin with, shall we? And then on the jacket as well, hold down the button, yeah, that works with a gloved finger, so that's good. We're on high. Let's start on low with that as well. Oh, I can feel that heating up instantly now that it's pressed against my body. I'm just going to leave that dangling out there so I know what I'm doing while I'm riding. And the temperature today in Hamburg is a balmy 8 degrees, despite it being the middle of November. So using my wind chill calculator from Kais, if we go to 8 degrees, at the 30 to 40 miles an hour I'm going to be travelling in town, we're going to be looking at 3, maybe 2 degrees centigrade, so pretty chilly. Let's see how they deal with it. I have to say after 10 minutes so far, I feel pretty comfortable. I'm noticing more of an absence of cold than a presence of warmth, but it's exactly what you want, isn't it? And I've got everything on the lowest setting, and as I said, currently doing about 30 miles an hour, we'll be looking at three degrees with wind chill. And bearing in mind the fact that I've also got ordinary jeans on and no neck scarf, I've really handicapped this experiment against the Kais gear. So it's doing a pretty good job. Of course, when I say ordinary jeans, I do mean the Knox Shield jeans. These aren't just ordinary jeans. Oh, no, 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 no. Single skin, AAA rated jeans. <laughs> and in the interest of qualifying the performance so far of the Kai stuff, I would have normally had cold fingers by now in my ordinary gloves. So even on the lowest setting, eight degrees ambient temperature, all of my fingers are nice and cozy. The backs of my hands are cozy and my fingertips are warm as well. That's the difference. The best thing is every time I stop at the lights and the wind quits, I get a lovely warm hug across my chest and across my back to remind me that I'm being warmed from within. But enough of this being reasonable, being efficient, let's see what we can do, how it feels on a higher setting. So we'll go maximum heat on the left glove, maximum heat on the right glove, up to high on the waistcoat. Oh, that's an instant change. I can feel the heat through my chest now. That's a, <laughs> that's a hell of an increase in the heat and my back. Oh, it feels like I'm sitting in front of a gas fire. Oh no, that's too much. I need to bring that down. <laughs> awesome. Oh, the potential for this winter is just starting to show its face. Now the gloves didn't have quite such a rapid ramp up in heat, but the backs of my hands are definitely a lot warmer now. They're on the red setting. Yeah, now starting to feel the heat creep down my fingers as well. That is just brilliant. And even just my lever fingers leaning forward onto the levers. Usually they'd be freezing cold because they're not on the heated grips anymore, which are off, incidentally, by the way. But yeah, even the, the lever fingers stay nice and warm while you're operating the levers. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Kais. And all of this running from the 5,200 milliamp battery in my pocket. Right, we'll just bring those down a bit, down to green, as we're nearly there. I'm going to save some battery for the ride home. And just before we get there, I can tell you all about the reason for all of this. This is all because of a competition being run by Kais. The Kais inspiring riders of 2021, 2022, with a main prize of an all expenses paid motorbike trip to Iceland. Imagine that, that would be a dream come true. So based on the content that I create using the Kais stuff, Kais are going to choose one or more of the people that they've selected for as their finalist for this little competition, and they're going to send them to Iceland. So 
thank you so much guys thanks for picking me to be one of the finalists in this little competition this is a great start and i'm really looking forward to using this stuff a lot more because so far i'm very impressed and there we go that's the end of that i have arrived at work warmer and cozier than ever before thanks to kais heated clothing best of all my hands and things keep being warm while i'm faffing around with everything but let's have a look that was a half an hour ride and we've only used a quarter of the battery how good is that easily enough to get me a good few days to and from work obviously i can charge it in the office or i can charge it when i get home so battery packs for the win next step i'll wire it into the bike and we'll be working on mains power but yeah i've been andy mancam this has been the kais heated vest and heated gloves and i will see you next time Ta-ra. <laughs>